someone in a high school athlete with the stats that you have as a quarterback switching over to defense, switching over to the dark side. Yeah. I need to know. I need to know about this. Like, for like, did this start as like youth, high school? Where did this start? Honestly, um, it wasn't my decision. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of, like you said, I played quarterback through high school and Pee Wee Ball, just the fastest kid. So I was the running back. Um, just give him the ball tight. Right. Yeah. And so when I went to Tennessee, I uh, went in the spring, graduated high school early, and I played receiver for three weeks mm -hmm. at the University of Tennessee. Um, new staff, Jeremy Pruitt was our head coach, coming from Alabama. Um, and he just kind of said in a team meeting one day, I'm going to move some guys around for three practices. And I'm like, I'm not going to be moved, sitting in the team <laughs> meeting thinking that, right? And you, and this so, is, you was that receiver? I was a receiver in the spring. No, no, I left yeah, high school. No, no, let's pause this. <laughs> let's pause this all the way. Take me back to freshman year of high school. You're coming in. You was already okay. Mr. Versatile. Yeah. You're a quarterback. Freshman year, coming freshman year. in, new head coach at my high school. And uh, he had already had guys like Mike Boone who went to Cincinnati. Um, and so they were like, he could get me like scholarships. And so come in as a freshman – um, and he just, my first game, he didn't want me to be considered a starting quarterback. So I played receiver for like the first play. And then he put me at a quarterback and we ran read option, which was really option. Yeah. And, yeah. um, and I just <laughs> ran for, I think it was like 8,000 yards, um, at my high school. You know, that's not normal, right? Yeah, I know. But that's a small school. Well, where's your school at? Uh, it's Manchester, Tennessee. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that record's never probably going to get touched, huh? Probably not. They just retired my jersey and everything. Oh, wow. That's I dope. I believe my rookie year they did. So That's dope right there. Yeah, it was a yeah, blessing. That's, that's crazy. So, okay, boom. You come in. You said rushed for 8,000 yards or like total? Like total. Passing. No, no, 8, no, 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 no. Like 8,000 like running yards. Okay, yeah. so like what does recruitment look like at this point? I was an athlete for some, for some teams. Georgia Tech wanted me as a quarterback, mm -hmm. and that's when they had Justin Thomas there. Um, Louisville wanted me. That's when they had Lamar Jackson. Oh, um, see. <laughs> it was Virginia. like, right, next. Right, right. Got you. And then Virginia wanted me as a quarterback. But those are the only schools who offered me as quarterbacks. Everyone else said athlete. Yeah, just get them on the roster. We'll figure that out. That's it. So I went okay. to camps, went to Five Star Rival Challenge, um, played in the Under Armour All American game as a receiver, went so to the, the opening as at a receiver. The challenges, like the rival stuff, what would you play? You just uh, rotating around? Or like well, the first time I did quarterback my sophomore year and then after that i started doing receiver at the different camps but never done db ever that's crazy what class what class were you high school class yeah. 2018 oh so you had some dogs in that yeah, class. We, we had a lot of you had justin JC fields Horn. you had who else was 2018 you had jamar right yo damn and you said you played in the under armor game yeah so like, what was that like playing with guys like i guess you could say guys like that to where you kind of know like okay these are the best of the best Shit, I'm the best of the best somewhere yeah. on the field. I'm not even right. totally positive what position I am yet. Yeah. But it's like you playing in a game like that with guys who are the best in their position. What is that experience like? It was different, but you know, I always felt like I was that guy and, and yeah. I could compete at a high level. There was times where I asked my mom to transfer schools just to compete with better talent, just yeah. kind of compare myself. Um, but it, it was fun. I learned a lot uh, going against guys like Asante Samuel Jr., who was mm -hmm. a corner and I was a receiver in, in the game. And Al Blades Jr., like guys whose pops Ooh. did it. Al Blades. I don't even know who that is. Uh, is, his he, pops he's, played is he in the league? league? No, nah, he's not in the league. He's not in the his league. dad played for a long time. He went to UM, balled out. Asante Samuel, his yeah, dad I know played. Him. I know Asante. Yeah. But wait, who's this other guy you said? Al Blades Jr. Al Bl I'm, I'm not hearing you right. Blades. Al Blades. B-L-A-D-E-S. -B Al Blades. You yeah. know where he went to school? He went to St. Thomas Aquinas in high school. And then he Florida went to the University of Miami, Miami. And then transferred to Duke. But and he just he, he just like didn't that work in high out. school. Yeah, I always feel out. like yeah. some of the best players I play with never made it to the league. It's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> like you think that's just like a like a just fate or like you know what I mean? Like do you think something went wrong somewhere? I don't know, man. I, you kind of hear it from from coaches nowadays. You kind of talk about peaking um, at a certain mm -hmm. point, and maybe some of those guys kind of peaked in high school, and then college they were kind of already reached their potential and. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing about this game is you got to elevate uh, yeah. every week, every year. And so I think that's one of those things that some guys it just didn't work out that way. But, you know, that's why I always talk about having talents off the field and finding what you're good at off the field. Yeah, that's a good point right there. Sure.